Hi, Penwise Jack here. The Heaven Earth Grocery Store by James McBride is a moving story about people whose lives are connected and takes place in the made-up Pottstown, Pennsylvania area Chicken Hill. The book starts with a finding made in 1972. That becomes the central theme of a story filled with the tension of the 1920s and 1930 seconds. A skeleton found at the bottom of a well takes us to a time and place where Jewish immigrants and African Americans lived together. They shared a space in their lives, which were full of hopes and sorrow. This deep book expertly digs through the layers of a community's secrets, the silent undertones of a shared struggle, and the human need to live on the edge of society. Along with McBride's study, there is a murder mystery that slowly unfolds to show how complicated race is in Chicken Hill, and how strong the community TIs are. In the Heaven Earth Grocery Store, James McBride continues his tradition of writing stories that get to the heart of America's troubled past. His subject is Chicken Hill, a small town full of hope and sadness where people of all races come together in the name of the American dream. Kids there grow up hearing stories about darkness and light, tradition and change. This is clear in the folk tales they tell each other and in the stories that older people say about history. McBride is a great storyteller and this book shows it as he moves through a complex web of different people, with each chapter showing more about their lives. With Chicken Hill as the setting, McBride avoids writing a boring historical book by making it relevant. Themes of race, love, persistence, and community are just as relevant now as they were in the past. Many reviewers have said that the book is full of love stories that connect with readers in a way that is so powerful that they can feel it. People who believe in Tick and OLAM see every action they take as a chance to heal and make the world a better place. With a mix of humor and seriousness, the book questions prejudices and builds a sense of community that is both humbling and inspiring. McBride's dialogue and scenes feel real in every setting, from the classroom to the workplace to the playground to church sermons. His figures aren't just people there what Chicken Hill is all about. The white establishment of the town and their part in the history of the neighborhood adds to the complicated situations McBride looks at through his sharp but caring lens. Finding the skeleton is more than just a story. Device, it's also McBride's way of showing how a community that is often on the edges can be strong and complicit. The body of the dead person is a reminder of the society that thrived on Chicken Hill and the stories that people have forgotten about but are still alive in their minds. But McBride does more than make a social comment in this expertly written thriller. He tells a healing story that goes beyond time and place. The main idea of the book is that real human TIs are sweet and beautiful, and they can feed your soul. In the Heaven Earth grocery store, McBride arranges a choir of voices that sing a song of love and community, heaven and earth, that keeps us going even when things are bad. In spite of everything, they chose to rise above problems and make a way for themselves and future generations. This shows how history repeats itself and how strong people can be. Two interesting ways to read it. One, as a historical reflection, the book can be read as an attack on the social systems that keep racial injustice going. It gives modern conversations about race and inequality historical context, too. On the other hand, the book shows how undervalued the strength and cooperation of marginalized groups are through the lens of community resilience. It does this by showing how societies can create support systems that include everyone and help everyone heal. The story stays with the reader long after the last word is read, changing not only their mind but also their view of the world. The Heaven Earth Grocery Store by James McBride is a moving story that questions ideas and celebrates people in their most basic forms. 